couple more jumping on. So, Chanel, health and wellness coach. Um, I am a girl who loves Jesus, who loves to help motivate and empower and encourage other working, busy moms um, how to live the fit life. Um, fit life meaning faith, integrity, um, intention and with teamwork. Those are my core values for myself and for my team. Um, specifically that integrity part um, and that intention part. Man, that's like a huge thing for my new year. Um, live with integrity and intention. Um, integrity, that's like where your heart is, right? Like where, where you're at in your heart, um, doing the right thing. And I feel like for a lot of areas of my life, like, yeah, I would do the right thing. Um, but there's other areas that maybe I'm not as good. And I will be upfront and honest, and that's not even, hey, Amber, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Um, so the integrity thing, like, I can tell you right now, this is not even on the topic of this, but I just wanted to share um, that I'm not always, um, I don't always do lead with the best foot with my husband. Um, we are going through some stuff right now, and it's some good stuff. Um, it's some hard stuff, but it's some good stuff, and we're getting some help with the counselor. Um, and I'm learning so much about myself and um, learning a lot about him. And my life um, with intention needs to shift to my priorities. Um, so where are your priorities, right? Where, where are they? Is your priorities your work? Is your priorities... Um, making sure you get to watch that TV uh, program in the evenings. Is it to make sure that you get to go on vacations or that, where is your priorities? And um, for me, my priorities um, have been my business um, because I'm trying to get it off the ground so that I can have that freedom that I want and um, feel like I need. Um, but, you know, um, priorities need to be in line with what you believe and your family, like Christ being the first thing and then family. Those are my, those are the top things of my priority list. So hopefully that's where you are going to. If you're following me, you know my heart, you know that I'm a Jesus girl and you know that Christ has to be the top of our priority list. And I'm going to be honest and tell you that up front every time if you're struggling with anything, um, you, you may not have your heart right. You may not have done the right thing with praying about it first. And I'll be the first to tell you that I have to remind myself about that every day. It's not something that, um, I mean, it comes more natural because I try to be intentional with praying and giving some time to the Lord in the morning, but not, not always. Um, and so, oh, thank you, Amber. Um, so the thing about that with this heart that I have, like, Oh, man, um, sometimes I just don't feel like it's that great. Um, but I do serve a gracious God and a merciful God who definitely brings me back into my place sometimes and helps me realize some ways that I can need to do different, need, need to be different. Um, and so um, my title of this was, Are You Being Obedient? Well, that's kind of crazy. For those of us who um, aren't believers, if you're not a believer and you're on this call, um, that can maybe sound like, well, who am I supposed to be obedient to, right? And I don't know about you, but the girls who follow me, like Leslie and Amber, um, all my coaches, my amazing, beautiful team of coaches, um, you're all a little bit like me, and we kind of like don't like to be told what to do. Um, we kind of wear the pants and kind of have this thing going, right? Um, well, so you can kind of look at that argument you being obedient to like well what does that mean being obedient to who um well i can tell you who it means to be obedient to and it's being obedient to the lord um i was reading um in one of the, my devotions the other day about um thinking about your health as your job in serving the lord um think about that for a second like if your job to honor yourself before the lord is to be physically fit and healthy on the inside, um, would you change the way you're doing your life right now? Like, if if that is what this means, it's not an outward thing. It's not about showing off your body. It's about being healthy and fit to honor the Lord. Are you being obedient? Um, because that's really what it's about. Like, showing up every day out of obedience to what we are called to do. Um, it's not about... Like, like I said, what we want to look like. Clearly, if we're taking care of ourself, our mind, our body, and our soul, doing the right thing, being obedient, showing up every day, then the outward appearance is going to take care of itself, right? Yes, it is. And I will tell you, with all the many years of struggling that I've had with my body image, when I have not given it to the Lord and done the right thing, nothing happened. Like, I can work out all day long, and until I surrender that, 
nothing happened in my heart and then really the outward appearance, it never happened either because my motive was wrong. My motive was for me and what I looked like on the outside. Um, but when my heart changed and I could be like, this is me being obedient to you, Lord. You know my struggles. You know what I need help with. You know that I am disgusted with myself when I look in the mirror. You know that I'm depressed over this. Like These are the things that I tell myself and tell the Lord. Um, he allowed me to move forward through that um, and thank the Lord. He also showed me this coaching opportunity and the power in this coach or coaching opportunity to share my story and share that this is not easy for me um, and that, but with Christ, it can be done. There's nothing that we cannot do with with Christ, without Christ, I mean without Him. Like there's nothing we can not do if we have Christ. Sorry, got a little twisted there. So, are you being obedient? That's basically what the scope I wanted to just talk to you about for just a minute. Um, and this can go for any area of our life. So, like my relationship with my husband. If I'm not honoring him, if I'm not trying to seek out ways to honor his gifts and the way he receives love from me and attention from me, if I'm not intentionally trying to invest in that relationship with him, am I being obedient to God? No, I'm not. What about my kids? If I'm not being intentional with my time with them, if I'm on my phone or if I'm trying to do other things, um, if I'm not trying to learn how to be a better parent, researching and looking, am I being obedient? No, and guess what, with my coaching opportunity, God told me to do it. And so if he told me to do it and I'm not intentionally trying to invest time into the business to learn how to be a better coach, a better leader, a better servant, to reach people for Christ, am I being obedient? No, I'm not being obedient. So we have to think about these things in our mind. And I want you to know, and I've, hopefully I've told you this before, but the reason I love to do these scopes and I love to do video and I love the coaching business and I love like people is because I'm learning so much about this stuff with my own heart and my own mind. And so showing up every day, oftentimes, um, this may not even mean about fitness for me because I'll show up. I love to get a good sweat on. I love to release those endorphins and like feel strong and feel amazing um, inside that I did something. I, and that's not an issue with me. But saying no to those sweets, um, wanting to hang on to a few pieces of candy and not throwing it away, like whatever that may be, um, for me, the food issues are more of an issue for me. So I need to know that God says, you got to show up and you got to be obedient every day. You've committed to a group of people that you're going to do the right thing. You've committed to me that you're going to do the right thing. Then you got to do it. Does that mean we're not going to screw up? Oh my gosh, absolutely not. Like we're human. We are going to screw up. But what that means is, is that we better recognize where our priorities are and why we're not being obedient. So please consider your health today. Consider it as you honoring your body, yourself, your mind, your spirit, your heart, you're honoring God when you do the right things with those. Literally, our bodies, we are a gift for this earth. Like, God put us here as a gift to others. Um, like, your spouse. Like, he, it's a gift. Your spouse is a gift to you. And I forget that so often. It just hurts me to think that I forget that it's a gift. Like, your kids, um, they're a gift. They're a precious gift that God gave us. And so we have to honor that. Like for us, if God is, t if he put us here to share his love to others and share him with others. And so if we are not honoring ourselves, our mind, body, and soul, how are we going to be able to honor ourselves? How are we going to be able to honor Christ? Um, so you got to be obedient. We've got to be obedient. It's so important. So show up. Do the right thing. Be intentional. If you need help, guess what? Chanel T, the Fit and B, right here. For those of you who are watching the replay, um, oh gosh, right on point with something that happened between me and Austin right now. Yes, like I'm telling you, it's it's a daily thing with every area of our life. This is not just fitness. You guys know me. I'm way more into all the other areas of our life. Uh, fitness obviously is a huge thing, but for those of you who work with me and know me, you know that like spirituality and getting our mind right all of those things are more important than our physical body. They just are. But if you're taking care of all of those other things, your body, your physical body is going to come. Um, so yes, you got to make that a priority. You got to make your fitness a priority, um, especially if you know that God has said the time is now. The time is now to take care of this problem. 
That's the same thing with my marriage, like struggling, 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 struggling. And God is saying, Chanel, the time is now. I'm telling you, the time is now. You have not been listening to me. The time is now. So this is the same thing. If you know that God is telling you to make changes with your health and your fitness, guess what? The time is now. God says, you better be obedient to me. He, I'm not going to say bad things are going to happen, but clearly you're going to live in this crazy place in your mind mentally and live in a depressed state, a defeated state, and that is not how you can fully serve other people and not how you can be a vessel for Christ. It's not. It is not. And so I'm here to tell you it's the same thing just like with my husband issue. Like I can't be a full vessel for Christ if my marriage is jacked up. I may be a great coach and I may have people who want to work with me, but if my marriage is jacked up, what the heck is the point? So we really have to be intentional about all these little areas of our life. Um, or what's the point? Like people are going to say, oh, you're really good at that. But what the heck is going on over there? Um, we've got to work towards whole, like a completeness um, with our life. Um, is it ever going to be perfect? Oh my gosh, no. And ever, like nothing's ever going to be perfect. But that's where we serve a mighty God who can work specifically in those areas that need improvement. But if you're not seeking him and you're not asking him for help, you're not going to get the help. He's not going to just miraculously say, oh, I see that you need that help, Chanel, so psh, and it happens. Like, no, that's not going to happen. Um, we got to seek him. we got to ask him. He wants us. He wants that relationship with us. So, man, I can get on these crazy tangents and these things because, like, I can just get going and my blood's getting pumping. So, but, so are you being obedient? Are you being obedient to the Lord? Are you doing the right thing with your life? Whatever that may be. So, take a second right now. Get out a pen and paper. Write down three areas in which you know that you can improve on with your obedience in your life. Write it down. I mean, right now in my life, of course, my marriage is on top of my priority. Um, and then my food, like my little things here and there, like what's doing, it's, it's creating this sense of anxiety um, that's not supposed to be there because I'm doing the wrong things. I'm eating things I shouldn't eat. And as though it's not a big deal in the big picture, it really is because I'm not fully being obedient. And that's going to not bring peace. Um, and so the other thing, um, let's see, my marriage, the, the health of the fitness, and then just um, leading with my business, uh, leading in my business with my heart and like truly seeking out to share the gospel and share my life in that relationship. So just more intentional with my relationships. Um, and I'm telling you, those things are huge and they're hard and they're not pretty at times, but they're so worth it. When we do the right thing, it's so, so worth it. So um, write down those three things. So if you're on here and you wrote down those three things, can you share what those three things are with me right now? Do you, can you do that? Like, I don't know if you were able to do it that quickly, but I'm going to give you a second, um, because I think it's important to have that accountability too. So, um, Chanel T, the Fit and P, if you're on here, you don't know how to find me. Um, of course I'm here on Periscope. I'm on Instagram, the Fit and P. I'm on Facebook, Chanel T, the Fit and P. That's me. And then Fit and P.com. Um, I have boot camps. I have um, five-day clean eating, some spiritual-based clean eating groups. I have um, some other stuff. Gosh, 30-day groups, coaching opportunity, business mentorship opportunity. Um, and that's where my heart is. I want people to grow. Time with God, my marriage, business goals. Amazing. Thank you so much, Amber, for taking that time. So pray over those. When we get off this call, pray over those. And to ask God to help you identify ways that you can intentionally improve those areas. Um, whatever it may be, like he's going to show you. Oftentimes he shows us and we're like, oh yeah, I don't know if I have time for that. Um, because I do that all the time. Like, yeah, I don't think I have time. I don't really think I have time for that. But um, he's probably showing you some things because he wants to teach you something through it. So um, so anyways, thank you for sharing that. Um, and of course, um, thank you for sharing me, Amber. I saw that you swiped to the right and you shared this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, like I said, my goal here is to share Christ and to share things that I'm working on in my heart. And um, so I'm thankful when you share it because then maybe someone else can see this and someone else can be like, oh, that makes so much sense. So anyways, okay, girls, I'm going to get off now. Thank you so much for supporting me and um, my message and what I'm here for. I love you guys so much. I really do. Um, and uh, I will, I'm here. You guys know where to find me. So you can always call me, text me, whatever. And Amber, I'm going to see you this weekend. I'm so, so, so excited. And then finally get to meet your husband. So, okay, girls, I will see you later. Have an amazing rest of your day. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.